Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, today I've got a uh, A2, big old A2 on a bench. Let's have a look. Here we are. So this is the A2 uh, big old, uh, which is uh, claimed to be waterproof. Um, we've got the big light there. Okay, let's have a little look. And there you have it. It's, uh, it looks quite plain and uh, simple. It doesn't seem to have much in there. So you've got the, uh, the pedal there and this metal plate and the usual sponge which is stuck on onto it. And uh, this doesn't have anything to, uh, to stop going into it. So after a while you get marks on the, uh, on the cushion there, which is a bit annoying really. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this, you see there, so you push that in, it does make a mark, all right, all there. So this is the pedal. Um, so it's got this foam stuck onto it. It's like the EX30 style, which is uh, <clears throat> sort of like inbuilt uh, lean pad, uh, which I find a bit uh, hard to, uh, you know, but you have to get used to it once you start using the machine. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's a small, what is it? Three by 10, the tire. The tire is three by 10. You see there, three by 10. So it's three inch by 10. Uh, a nylon tire, which is a knobby tire. Okay. Um, it's got a C35 motor on there. That's a 60 volt. Uh, it's on the stand. Yeah, uh, well, let's see what the weight is for this little wheel. All right, so the wheel itself weighs 20.3 kilogram. Okay, 20.3 kilogram. So to move, remove the uh, side panel, uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve screws that will lift this out. So uh, so which is good. So it's not stuck on. It's uh, actually screwed on. So it's a big sponge. Yeah, that's good. So once the both side panels are removed, uh, that will expose the top screw cover. You can see there, one, two, three, four, five screw on the side here and on the other side. And you can see on the A2, you've got the uh, lip switch and the power button. And the power socket is four pin. So again, they changed it again. It's four pin. And I believe this is an 84 volt uh, wheel. Okay, it's not 100 volt, it's 84 volt. Okay, so uh, after the side is removed, the second stage is to remove the top sponge. So you've got one screw, two screw, and two on the bottom here. Okay, and there's four screw. And when this that is loosened, this thing comes out. Okay, so the whole thing comes off the sponge, the top sponge. <music> the uh, the cover which is a uh, clear plastic cover on top and uh, it looks like there's a gasket that keeps it waterproof which is on the side here so that's what makes it waterproof and as you see they uh, they're using plastic uh, with metal screw so if you do any tighter like you can see here so that is beginning to crack there so that is uh, manufactured the 
um, you know, assemble. So if it's too tight, you see the plastic start to crack when it's too tight. So this is a uh, plastic uh, on top. So let's take that off and uh, look inside. <laughs> We've got a little display there and that's the battery going into it from the bottom and we've got this uh, control board there one two three four five six most right there uh, there might be some more yeah and the uh that's the motor cable going through there and the motor connector or sensor and We've got other bits. So this is a tight gasket. So this is a waterproof gasket. Um, everything is uh, the button is all sealed with silicone. So it's got silicone. So that's all sealed, and the gasket goes around it, and that's all perfectly tight. Uh, and all the holes are, yeah, all tight as well. So that is waterproof, and you got the water bottle there. And the button is not next to, not inside the control, it's on the exterior. So, I can, then know if the button is waterproof, so we'll have to check. And the light is a, uh, it's a very simple light with LED, uh, plastic light. Uh, yeah, this is all plastic. Yeah, so it's, it's nothing to it. And the battery is under the, uh, the unit. It's a small battery. I believe it's only a 700 watt battery um, on this model. So we've got the battery and the board on top in this uh, uh, box. Yeah, so it's, it's nothing to it really. It's just a uh, control board, the battery underneath, control board, and the motor. You see there, so um, all the screws, it's got uh, silicone in there. Okay, and that holds the box. This whole box is uh, holding, and the body itself, uh, you can say it's quite thick. It's definitely thicker than the uh, M104, uh, it's stronger. So, this, uh, this plate, this metal plate, and uh, yeah, you can see the L bracket they're holding there. Okay, so when you put this back in, uh, because this is uh, plastic and you've got metal screws, uh, you have to do it by hand. Don't use any drill or machinery. And make sure when you screw it, uh, it goes down to the gap where it touches. Okay, and see there's a little gap there, okay? But, uh, you see that? That touches. There's a little gap here, but then that touches. So don't force it in too hard. As long as you uh, screw it back to down to the level where it meets, you know, the two surface meet, and and that will do it, because you've got the rubber uh, in between, uh, sticks up slightly, and that will give it uh, waterproof tight. So you've got to be very careful on this. Just do it uh, so that it's just right, not too hard. If it's too hard, you'll break the plastic. Okay, and uh, that will get guarantee is waterproof so the uh, having a look at the bearing on the motor uh, I'm not going to uh, remove the motor because they are uh, manufacture seal if I start to uh, take it apart I will break the seal and that will definitely uh, stop the uh, waterproofing time will tell uh, if somebody starts to ride this wheel underwater 
then we will know if it uh, if it comes back in. But other than that, um, what what would you compare this wheel to? Okay, it's uh, I mean, you can say it's a sixteen X, uh, King Song sixteen X, uh, but it's got a small battery, so that will uh, give you the mileage. I would say this is a uh, a V ten, yeah. I will compare that to a V10, uh, but waterproof. But other than that, uh, yeah, it's just, um, I would think it's a V10, really, uh, with a wider tire, which obviously um, rides slightly different. Uh, but being a small wheel, 20 kilogram, is pretty heavy. <laughs> yeah, pretty heavy. So I reckon you get about 20 miles, just the same as the uh, M103 or M104. Uh, the top speed on this is about 27 miles per hour. Uh, yeah, um, or just below 30. Okay, if you turn it on, you got a little tiny little display there. So, same as all the other big old wheel, uh, battery and mode. Okay, one, two, three. And the uh, how many miles is done? Yeah. And that's it. Now let's see what the light is uh, like on this uh, A2. So let's turn the light on. Yeah. It's okay. It's not that. It's not bright, but uh, what the speed is doing, it should be. It's okay. And um, yeah, so it's not that. Bright, bright. See there? Okay, it's just a round circle thing. I like all big old, big old lights. They're not great. And um, if you look at the back on this one, so it's, it's got an LED. Uh, yeah, big square LED. Uh, so the back is quite bright compared to the front. Um, yeah. So I would say this is a it's a little toy wheel really. It's a to get you around the city um, for local riding. You know, just nip in the shop in and out, uh, you'll be okay.